Do you want to learn how to add comments to your file's version history without requiring checkout on your library? Keep watching to find out how. In SharePoint, you can have more control over document collaboration by requiring that files are checked in and out. This ensures that people aren't able to overwrite a document. However, when this feature is enabled, only a single user can have the document open, which technically defeats the purpose of collaboration. Even Microsoft has made a point to note that you shouldn't configure your library to require checkout if users plan to co-author documents. All files stored on OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or SharePoint Online have autosave enabled by default. It's redundant to do this. Use version history instead. Quickly access your version history for any file in SharePoint by hovering over it and clicking the three dots. Click on version history. In the dialog box, you can see here that there isn't any way to enter comments, which is quite frustrating, especially when you have so many versions and are unsure of what changes were made until you've opened the file. Make sure to stick around to the end where I'll show you how to access your file's version history while you have it opened. To solve this, we'll add a column into our document library to store comments. You can choose to use a single line of text field which will limit you to 255 characters or a multiple lines of text field. Choose whichever works best for you. Once a file has been updated, a comment can be added to this field to let your team know what was changed in the file. Here in the document library, the last comment entered will be visible. When you view the file's version history, all past comments can be viewed. When autosave is enabled, it saves your file every few seconds. Every time your file is saved, it will create a new version. When you enter a comment, although it's not a change to the file's contents, it is a change that has been made to the file's metadata. Keep in mind that once you've saved your file, it will save a new version. When you enter a comment, it'll create a new version and attach the comment to it. This is how SharePoint tracks changes on your files, no matter if it's to the file contents or the metadata. Although this may not be the cleanest way to track versions, this is the easiest way to implement commenting without enabling checkout. Enabling checkout disables collaboration. The purpose of using the comment field is to avoid multiple instances of your file. This is giving me file hoarder vibes and isn't helpful. The comment field, when used, makes it easy to see what was done to a file so that it can be restored at a later date if needed, or old content from a file can be referenced or reused in a newer version. You can view your file's version history in two ways. The first way is here in the document library. Hover over your file and click the three dots. Select version history. In order to see the contents of your file, you'll have to click on the date and time the version was created. This will download a copy of the file to your desktop, which isn't ideal. The second way is in the web browser. Click on the file to open it. Click the file menu and click on info. Click version history. The versions will be listed in the sidebar and grouped by the time the version was created. Click on the arrow to view the versions. You can toggle between the various versions by selecting it. For more tips on SharePoint Online, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.